Loggy? God damn it, Loggy, you did I don't even know how to put into words what you did. I want you to know that Jasmine is in a group chat right now. Going crying. crazy. Oh she my god. Crying. Did you see me cheering? Like, I did. Okay, but as soon as I looked up, I was like, oh my God. Loggy, um, there's so many things that I could talk about in terms yes. of this win because first of all, you went from 12th mm. to fifth. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then you went from fifth to first. Mm -hmm. And then, hold on. And then you had to sit there and yeah. wait to see what Val was going to do because we know she know how to pull through. But she do know she how know. to pull through. So, how, like, what was what was the whirlwind of emotions going through competition? Because, girl, I would be doing backflips. I'd be yeah. crying. I don't know. Uh, if I if I could jump high enough with my big self, you already did. You, you did it. You did it. You <laughs> I would try to. Um, but I I I was just kind of shaken up, you know, because. Val, like you said, is a big competitor. So I just knew, I was like, she got one in her. She might mess around and throw 71 a day. We don't know. Val is that girl. You know, I've, I've seen her be down and out and boom, she hits one. And so like going, waiting for her to go probably had me the most sickest I've ever felt in my life. Like I, my heart was pounding and I was like, because this is the girl that could actually do it. <laughs> out of everybody there, I was like, Val is the girl to upset everybody. And I was like, just sit there and breathe. So the, the other thing that's crazy about that is that I know that, that Val is feeling a little sad too because like she's been at these championships, like she's done her thing and she has yet to come home with a gold medal. But I'm sure that you've looked up to her a billion yes. times because as a discus thrower, like of course who would not look up to Val Almond? Yes. So just what are, what are some words that you, would, that you would say to her, you know, with her not being able to come home with the medal? I tell her not to stop, you know, because the whole the whole U.S. you know women's discus team is chasing after Val, um, and that's what happens when people chase after you. When you're the best, like people, you have a target on your back, um, and she should have no shame in in losing because she has helped to create such a good environment. You know, she has been the precursor to people like me coming up. Um, you know, so I'm just I'm thankful that we have her in our country. You know, especially because she get us that buy, so we get four people to go. Oh, so look at y'all! You get uh -huh. just another chance mm -hmm. uh, to make a team. Um, yeah, you got the yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? yeah, so got I'm it. just, I'm just very excited that I was able to be on a level as her because you know sometimes people seem very untouchable, um, and then now you get to tell yourself, well, like, well, I'm kind of, you know, I'm, I'm up there too now, maybe. Right. You know? Now at USA, you, at USA, you were talking to Chris, and you were like, man, I've been through some hard shit. It was, it was some stuff going on hard this season, time. but now you came out with a gold medal. So are you comfortable telling me like some of the stuff that you was going through? Um. So I, I got sick in February uh, and I was off for like 28 days. Then I had to come back and then I had an amazing open, uh, season opener at um, UCSD at 63, um, 90 high or 90 low. And after that, like I just took a nose dive and I was struggling. I was like at 60 or lower in most of the meets. Um, and I just, I wasn't anywhere where I was in 22 where I was like on a roll. Um, and then things hit uh, with my European tour when I went to Florence and I do, I think, 55 at the Diamond League. And after that, it was not just a physical toll, it was a mental toll of trying to get up to go to practice, of having a rough day and being like, you have to show up again the next day because I really didn't want to. Um, and at the, like at the time, like I couldn't, I can't tell you how many times, like coaches see the worst out of you sometimes. Um, we would, we finished practice and he's like, it's actually a good day. And I'm like, mm-hmm. And then I just take my shoes off and just woo. And he's like, why? And I was like, I don't like it. I, I, I'm very hard on myself and I could be kind of a pessimist, but you know, I I was struggling so hard mentally um, and USA was literally the light at the end of the tunnel. That 65 meter throw at the end uh, let me know that like everything was gonna be okay and that what I was doing was right. Um, and that it was okay to have crappy, crappy throws as long we made that team. Okay. So we made that and team. that's what you did. Yes. So the last thing I got to say before you know they they, they get over here and get mad at me, um, is Sidious is so proud of you. So you know when you want to pull up on the show tomorrow, we're gonna have some yes, champagne for you. You know yes, what it is. You know your family. Yes, ma'am. Uh-huh. <laughs>